Hi there, Diana from Adirondack Girl. Hi there, Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I teach vintage and antique lovers how to create antique businesses that they love. One of the ways I do that is through these videos. Today, I'm gonna to be focusing on small tins and small glass from the kitchen and from the garage. I'm gonna show you this <laughs> container that I picked up at a flea market filled with tins and bottles and things like that for $10. And I'm gonna go through the pieces that are in this cute little container, most of which would sell for between five and $15. Okay, let's get started. This is one of my favorites, a Davis baking powder container, not in perfect condition, but in pretty darn good condition, especially if it's gonna be a decoration, if you're um, buying it to decorate your kitchen. This one is gonna probably be in the $12 range, but I really liked that. And here is Califig, an extract, an elixir of Senna. <laughs> and this is for constipation. Let's see. Oh, it is actually completely sealed. So that's a fun, that's a treasure, right? To sell that unopened, that should be in the $15 range. Then here is a bottle of grenadine syrup. Too bad about the staining there, but that would be for making drinks. Although back then it was probably some sort of uh, medicine, I'm not sure. Anyway, just, you know, it's like opening up a box of history, right? To see all these neat bottles and tins. So here's Kirby Sweet Air Air Freshener. So it's an air freshener. So you would squeeze it and some of the freshener would come out the top. That's interesting. Okay, here's another bottle. This is Orange Bitters also for mixing drinks, but probably would have been also for the stomach. Take it for the stomach. Interesting. Here's something from the garage. Precision built for hunting scopes. So this had a scope in it for a gun. It's empty, but something like that would be like a few dollars, three or four dollars for that box. Here's a can of, of antiquing this is probably from the 1970s when colonial furniture, uh, people were making it or painting it to look aged. This is uh, has a gold tone and would make something look older than it was. My father was an industrial arts teacher and he used to do that back in the 70s on furniture that he made um, for us. Here's a little tin, Boots, Malloyd's throat lozenges. I think this is a newer tin nice color. Here's an extract bottle worth a dollar or two. Another extract bottle, black walnut. Um, I'm not sure if these things are still, if you can still use them or not. That would be something to find out. Here's an empty one, an almond extract bottle. Here's a nice old bottle, golden bells liniment. So that would probably be for like achy muscles, that sort of thing. Not in great shape, but nice to have a little bit of the label on the front there. And it is an aqua uh, colored bottle. Here is oil of lemon, an older extract bottle. Look at that great red label. It still has the original cork. That's a really sweet little piece. All of this was for $10. Crazy, right? Here are um, an, another gun accessory. I don't know what that is. Here's a mentholatum tin. So that's some kind of a salve in this sweet little tin. This has a picture. So I've actually had these before. These are little milk glass jars. So this was would be a smaller portion of it in a tin. Then this tin, I think, comes from the garage would have had maybe tax in it, that sort of thing. Nice color on the lid there. Here is peppermint oil in a nice amber bottle. 
a box of mustard seed with a nice kind of vintage look to it. And here is um, Aero Gloss Dope, Corsair Blue. I have no idea what that is. Do you know what that is? Let me know in the comments if you have any idea what that's all about. <laughs> Here's a bottle of Wagner's Pure Wintergreen Extract in a cute little bottle. And another extract, Ooh, and it's full. I'm thinking maybe that one is vanilla. And two more mentholatum tins. So these should sell for about five or six, seven dollars, something like that, all on their own. And then finally, we have a bottle of LaRue Grenadine liqueur. Federal law forbids the sale or reuse of this bottle. So 1970s, 1960s, or 70s. Okay, that was the final bottle. Here's, ooh, this is poison. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. That is some kind of Arzol silver nitrate applicators. Okay, we're gonna put that one back. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed seeing all these fun tin and glass containers. I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, visit me at my blog, Adirondack Girl at Heart. That would be awesome. And as always, happy hunting.